So I know I'm kind of behind and late on talking about the new releases, but I thought I'd do it anyway. I tend to be behind simply because I save up my free rewards to get fragrance mists in the new collections because that's what I use the most. And it took a while for Bath & Body Works to roll out all of these scents online. I waited for probably a week after the original launch just to get my hands on Denim and Daisies in the mist. So I do apologize for the delay on this. Um, the only mist I am missing is the Berry Waffle Cone because I just cannot justify buying it because I dislike it that much. I do have a candle that I got. Um, this is uh, quite an older one. And that's all I do own in it. And it's just, it's too much for me. And something about the body care just isn't a hit. I feel like it just needs to stay with home fragrance personally. But I am not someone who is obsessed with gourmand scents. So... That's pretty much just how it always is for me. And then the only other thing here is this Bonfire Bash is old packaging, but I'm trying to keep my collection as low as I can so I don't like to get repackages and things until mine go bad. So we'll just kind of start going through this and then at the end I will um, do a ranking and I just realized I'm missing one here so I'm going to grab that really fast and I'll be right back with you. Okay, we've resumed and I realized I had the pride <laughs> mist as well. So I will just start with this collection. So again, we'll be missing Berry Waffle Cone, but we have Sun Kissed and this one has notes of Sun Drenched Orange Blossom, Sparkling Sea Salt, and Vanilla Breeze. Now I'm going to spray all these just because I want that fresh scent in my nose to describe these. So this one to me is very much like sunscreen. It kind of reminds me if like suntan was made into a body care. That's the kind of vibe I get from this. And I like it better than other sunscreeny type of scents they've come out with. And I found this one is pretty strong. I did wear it and it lasted pretty well. So if you like those really beachy, summery sunscreen type of scents, you'll definitely want this one. And then we're moving on to sea salt and lavender, which we have seen before. And this one has notes of fresh sea salt, blooming lavender, and sun-drenched sands. Well, let me spray this one. Now, I will say, I am not a huge lavender fan. Um, it can be often overwhelming for me. But for some reason, I don't mind this one. Something about it is very nostalgic to me have no clue what it is, but I think the sea salt part, that like the sun-drenched sands, that like muskiness to it really tones down the lavender and I quite like it and it just smells very soft and relaxing. And then we'll move on to Midnight Swim. This one has notes of blue waters, beach flower, and fresh coastal air. I'll give it a spray. I'm gonna be smelling like everything. <laughs> So yeah, this one is very clean and it has musk, and that's really up my alley. I quite like musky scents. I absolutely love the packaging on all these, by the way. So yeah, if you like saltwater breeze, this is kind of in that range. They're not the same, but they're related. <laughs> they could maybe be cousins. So if you like saltwater breeze and those other kinds of scents, I can't think of any others at the top of my head, but you would like Midnight Swim. Then we're moving on to Grapefruit Rosé. I love the flamingo on this guy. This one has notes of sparkling grapefruit, frozen rosé, and sun plashed sugar. I'm also sorry about the focusing I'm having here. The issue, I'm not sure what's going on. It might just be the lighting. There we go. So I apologize. But yeah, the flamingo is super cute. Let me spray it. guys I love this one <laughs> so this one is very juicy very fruity um you definitely get that grapefruit and I like the sugar with it because it gives it a very I don't know like it tones down the grapefruit which I appreciate a lot this is gonna be high in the rank rankings I really like this one <laughs> then moving on to Midsummer Dream which 
is some of my favorite packaging they've done in a while. I love this little like peep out window and honestly all of it, the moisturizing body wash, the perfume bottle, it's all so pretty. So this one has notes of salted pear, fresh nectarine, and seaside lily. Now on this one, it's very floral on my skin. Even though when I spray this, I get very fresh. Yeah. Like the pear and nectarine really come through when I spray it, but for some reason on me, the floral really shoots through it, which is totally fine. It smells absolutely fabulous on me. So if you like something like Dahlia or anything that's floral with fruity, you'll really enjoy this one. It's just, it's so pretty. And then moving on, we have Firecracker Pop with the really pretty cute lid. <laughs> and this one has notes of red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. And I love the packaging for this line. It's adorable. So let me spray this. Now this one is different. A lot of people do not care for this one. Let me spray it on a new part of my skin because I haven't really tested it. I like the smell of it just plain on smelling it and I do have the candle which I did put a review up for on my IGTV which unfortunately I was disappointed with but let me smell it on my skin here. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about this one on me. It dries down kind of funky which is really disappointing me. Hold on, I'm going to spray a little more. It's like I'm not getting much from it. This is really making me sad because <laughs> I liked it just, you know, spraying it in the air. I don't know. I'm going to have to wear this one more. It's kind of smelling, I don't want to say sour, but something is not mixing well with me on my skin. So I will say definitely try that one on your body if you're at a store that has testers because that definitely turned funky. And then we have this guy, Denim and Daisies, which I have been obsessed with. I smell it a million times every day I work. I just sniff the shower gel and it just smells so good. This one has notes of sweet daisies, sunwashed denim, and summer citrus. Now, I have heard that this isn't strong from some people when they wear it, and I've heard from others that it is. So, you know, mixed reviews that I've seen so far... I mean, I haven't worn this all day. Obviously, I'm freshly spraying it on me. But it smells like it's going to last. We'll see, though. But it's very floral. Gosh, I just love it. I think it's the daisy with the citrus. It just makes a really nice, fresh, spring picnic kind of scent. Like, when I smell this, I feel like I need to go get a blanket, make some little sandwiches, <laughs> and have a picnic date. So I absolutely love that. And then there's Bonfire Bash, which does not look like this. This is from Fall of... Oh gosh, I won't even... I can't really see what year it's from because the sticker's on it. But yeah, this one's older, but this one has notes of vanilla bourbon, um, sandalwood, and cashmere. Let me just spray this guy. I always describe this one as um, Marshmallow Fireside, but in body care, and that's the vibe I totally get. I will say when I smelled this year's, it was pretty close. It seemed a little bit different to me, but I was smelling the shower gels and they can smell different than the mists. But regardless, if Marshmallow Fireside is a home fragrance scent you love, you definitely need it in the body care. And it does have good lasting power, at least with this packaging. I don't know about this recent launch. But then lastly for the mists here, we have Sun Washed Citrus which we've seen out before, but it's in this really nice pride packaging, and it's just a good citrus scent. There's not much more to it. It's just clean, fresh citrus. It smells absolutely fantastic, and I love when they bring out their pride items, so that was really cool. And then I did reviews on all of these candles, but I just wanted to quickly highlight them since I had them readily available anyway. But we have um, Blue Ra Raspberry Snow Cone was a new candle. I just kind of want to highlight the packaging because it's really pretty. And then the in-depth reviews, either you've already seen on my IGTV or you can look there for them. And then the Firecracker Pop. And then I also have the Juicy Pink Grapefruit. And finally, I have the Kiwi Starfruit Cooler. 
So now, let me take a second, rearrange these, and I'll let you know my ranking. All right, here we are. We have Grapefruit Rosé. Took the cake in first. I just love how unique it is. Then we have Denim and Daisies. It's kind of similar to like other things I have in the collection, but like I said, I absolutely love it. Then we have Midsummer Daydream, Midnight Swim, Sunwash Citrus, Bonfire Bash, Sunkissed, Sea Salt and Lavender, and then our sad, let me turn it here, <laughs> Firecracker Pop at the end just because of how it smelled on dry down. Didn't mix with me well again. I'm really sad that it smelled like that, but I'm definitely going to enjoy my candle in it if it throws better. I have to burn it some more. And again, check out the review on that. But yeah, that is all I have for you. And if you enjoyed this and want me to continue videos like these, please let me know.